How's it going guys? Welcome back to the Liverpool Road Trip videos and to the next location on day one. If you guys haven't seen the last video I did on the Liverpool Road Trip, please check the card in one of the corners. I'm not actually sure which, but one of them, there'll be a card that pops up. That's the first video for this series, so if you haven't seen it, please go check that out before you check this one and then come back. So our second location traveling up towards Liverpool was that of the abandoned Templar Caves. Now, again, a very well-known location, but something that I haven't managed to do. In fact, I had actually been here before, but the first time we came here, we were rumbled by the locals. Uh, so we decided to give it a miss in the end. So today we were hoping for a bit better luck and we got in, so check it out. So the history of this place is not all that well known. Most of it is simply guesswork, but what we do know is that sometime in the late 80s, a rusted old sword was found here by a local school teacher. However, he didn't know much about the sword and kept it on his windowsill for many years. And there it stayed. Three decades later, he sent the sword to auctioneers to have it evaluated, and learned that it was of 13th century origin, and experts believed it likely belonged to a knight, possibly a Templar knight, due to the decoration on the pommel of the sword. And it is for this reason that this location where the sword was found has been dubbed as the Templar Caves. However, as I said, little is known for certain about the caves, including the actual origin and how they came to be. Some believe that the caves date back to the time of King Philip IV of France, who was fearful of the power of the Knights Templar, and had attempted to dismantle the organisation by hunting them down. Little hidden away underground caves like this would have been a perfect hiding place for a knight trying to survive, and it certainly looks like it's the sort of place a knight would have lived. Other people believe it was carved out much later in the 19th century, as other similar caves have been found in the same area, but were dug out when the area was turned into a quarry. More recently, the caves have attracted the likes of satanic cult members, pagans, and others seeking the supernatural, all of which obviously think the site has some paranormal influence, and this is plain to see by the amount of more recent carvings that have been added to the walls by visitors. Whatever the origins of the caves, it is undoubtedly an interesting place to visit, and one that we are going to explore together today. Right, so we just reached the location, and this is actually a place I've come to before, but never got as far as the actual entrance of the place, because last time we were here, we kind of got caught by locals, which, yeah, they kind of... <laughs> I love it. <laughs> get down on it, get down on it. Yeah, so last time we came, we actually got caught by locals out on the road, so we didn't make it as far as the entrance, so this is the first time I've seen this, but... Uh, the entrance doesn't look like much, I'll show you this always in a second, but it doesn't look like much, but when we get inside you'll see exactly how much this actually does open up, it's ridiculous. Yeah, it's not the easiest place to get into, is it? It's, it's pretty uh, small, isn't it? Yeah, it's quite small. Quite small. You got that? Yeah. Do not drop that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Watching child backwards. <laughs> it's actually, I think it's, I think it's actually easier this way around. Yeah. Oh my god, it's fucking tiny. It's tiny, yeah, it really is. I haven't got a clue what this was used for. Um, you said it was some kind of witchcraft or something, didn't you? Well, apparently it's been used in for recent years. Yeah, apparently it's been used for paganism and witchcraft in recent years, but I don't know that much about it really. I just don't know it's called the Templar Caves. So it's quite cool though. So very strange. It's how far it goes down there as well. Yeah, it goes goes right on. We should be able to stand up down there, I think. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys, so we've actually got down now, and uh, this is a tiny, tiny little hole. I managed to fit through here just about. But, uh, yeah, check this out. This is the Templar Caves. It's honestly so small right here that there's no way at all I'm going to be able to get a gimbal out. <laughs> I can barely get around with my bag. We're actually going to leave our bags here at the entrance because, honestly, there's just no way. <laughs> So, right, let's squeeze down. Oh. That's the entranceway right there. And it is honestly tiny. I can't even stand up in that bit there. I can only just about stand up where I am now. It's just your height, mate, that one. Yeah, this is all right, yeah. <laughs> this is absolutely incredible. I can't actually stand up right now. It's so small. I'm crouched over in a really weird position. But yeah, this is epic. So this actually goes on a lot further than it looks. And right now it probably looks like the tiniest little place. And there's obviously a bit of backfill in this bit. But I think Colin's doing his cinematics already over there. Through there, you can probably just about see. It actually goes quite a way. The craftsmanship that's gone into this and how long this would have taken to craft all of this out of stone. Like I said, I'm not too sure exactly what it was used for, but 
It's obviously got the nickname the Templar Caves. So that kind of indicates it might be something to do the Templars. But I don't actually know, to be honest. Not 100%. one whole corner down here that's absolutely full of them. It's absolutely mad. Let's uh, get down to this bit, because this bit I can actually stand up in. Oh, there we go, that's a bit better. So take a look at this, every uh, few bits there's like little um, indents. Now, I don't know what these are. It does, I will say, it does look a bit like a cross, but I'm not 100% what that is. I don't know what to say about this place, I really don't. It's um, very unusual, very unusual. Look at these pillars that have been carved. They've obviously been carved by hand. It's remarkable, it really is. It's like a little chapel in places. Yeah. Oh, God, it's a bit cosy in here. That's pretty cool, look at that. It's almost like a flower. Guys, if you know what this means, if any of you are into this kind of stuff and you know exactly what that's for, um, or what it was used for, please just pop it in the comments below. Right guys, so we're actually about done, so we're going to head back up to the surface and to the next location. So, uh, I'll see you guys outside. Are you filming me? Yeah, of course I am. Horrible man. Watching me struggle. So that is it done for today. Uh, really cool location, very, very cool actually. We're literally in the middle of nowhere. 
we're in a woods somewhere, so you wouldn't expect to see that at all. Um, I think most people would go past that just think it was like a badger's hole or something, but to actually go in there and see that this it just opens up this massive, almost like a chapel type thing with all these carvings and that. Imagine how many people have spent time doing those in there. What an incredible location. Uh, but that is it for now. Hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you guys again in the next video. See ya! What an amazing little location. It's not a huge location, but really, really cool, tiny little thing that's just hidden away. Little gem, absolutely amazing. Anyway, that is it for day one. We're gonna move over across to day two in the next video. So if you wanna see that, please do hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys again next week. See ya. Wrapping a rag around my face, I pull my hoodie on. Uh, this ain't no time for rookies young. Got my octo camera on. Camera so the rain can't be worried about no five or special ops. I need my composer steady, thunder to follow go, cause I'm off the top. Your weird inseminations ain't made of spare speculation.